Hello, hi. everyone. Say hi. Hi. Welcome to Pride Kids, girls and boys. Welcome. Yay! <laughs> well, they are certainly excited. We are here for our first PK story time. Our first PK story time. And today we are reading Kristen's Big Hair Adventures. And we are so excited about it, you guys. Sorry for the delay. We had a dentist appointment that went over such a very long time, but we are here as promised. And so let's go ahead and get started. And I will show the pictures as we go along. Okay? Okay? I'm going to read it. And then we can talk about it. Okay? And then we'll talk about it. You're not even in the camera. Look. All righty. Kristen was a very curious five-year-old little girl with very big hair. Her skin was brown and as smooth as a buckeye, freshly fallen from its tree. She was as tall as her kitchen counter, and she really <laughs> loved to sing. When Kristen wasn't singing, she was always asking questions. Why is this frog so green? How did that building get so tall? What are bricks made of? <laughs> Kristen and her family lived in a small neighborhood where everyone knew each other. Kristen's family visited her grandmother and her cat, Max, often. Grandma's house was always exciting. The grass was oddly shaped, the trees were just high enough for Kristen to climb, and there were always lots of kids to play with in Grandma's neighborhood. So they're in Grandma's neighborhood, guys. Sometimes, Kristen would even spend the night with her grandma. Grandma was Kristen's favorite person to visit. I think that's one of your favorite people to visit is Grandma, too, huh? Yeah, because she was um, a big toy. And I can play all the game. Yeah. <laughs> I would wait for it because courage of robots. Okay. Robot. Kristen's mom would always remind Kristen and her two little brothers, Cameron and Brandon, to always be on their best behavior. Because Kristen was the oldest, she always learned from her daycare provider, Miss Morgan, that being on your best behavior was an enormous part of being prepared for the big school. After all, Kristen would be attending the big school in the fall. She's going, look at her crossing the street. So she's going to the big school. What do we think the big school is? What's the big school? Yeah, your school? They're naming their school as the big school. Okay, let's turn the page. Her mom would always remind Kristen, you know your brothers are watching your every move, so make good choices. Kristen knew her brothers were paying close attention to her. Because when Kristen would sing her favorite song, her brothers would sing it too. When Kristen would sing it louder, her brothers would sing it louder as well. When she gave her best spy smile, her brothers gave a spy smile too. When Kristen twisted her hair at bedtime, her brothers even tried to twist their hair too but they just didn't have enough hair. <laughs> Sometimes Kristen became very annoyed with her brothers and she would give them what she would call the big hair stare. But her brothers would only copy her stare and make her even more upset. Let me see your big hair stare. Big hair stare. One warm Saturday morning, Kristen's mother woke her up earlier than usual. Kristen, it's time to get up. She noticed her brothers were still asleep. Wake up, sleepyhead. You are going to help grandma move into her new house. With excitement, Kristen jumped out of bed. And like she did every morning, she washed, she brushed her teeth, untwisted her hair before she ate. After a quick breakfast, off they went. 
Off they went. When she arrived at grandma's new house, Kristen noticed that the street was different. The trees were taller and the grass was not shaped the same. Grandma greeted her at the door. Good morning. Thanks for coming to help me move into my new house. Kristen was surprised how different the house was. Grandma's new house was wider and the backyard was big enough for Kristen to invite all her friends over to hear her sing. It also had a creek with some strange looking creatures. Kristen had never seen animals that looked like that before. After exploring grandma's backyard, she went inside to help. Her grandma put her things where they belonged. As time passed, Kristen decided to take a small break and go sit on the front steps. There she is. A little girl from the neighborhood saw Kristen sitting on her grandma's new porch. She had a lot of questions just like Kristen. Where did she come from? How did she get here? Will she play with me? Hi, my name is Sophia, what's your name? I'm Kristen, she said smiling. Sophia stared at Kristen's big hair. She had never seen anyone so little with such huge hair. This was very strange for Sophia. How did you get such big hair? It looks weird. Why is your hair so big? Sophia asked as she continued to stare. Kristen didn't quite understand what Sophia meant. All her friends and family had similar hair or hairstyles. Kristen didn't know how to answer that question. So she did what she normally does when she could not figure out an answer. She asked her grandma. Hey, sit down, buddy. I know, have a seat. Grandma, why is my hair so big? Kristen asked with a look of sadness and confusion. Grandma smiled and gave Kristen a what? Giant hug. <laughs> and set her down on her lap. We are all very special and different. You were born a very special, unique person. Your hair is so big because you are so amazing to me. And it tells everyone who meets you just how great you are. Always be proud of who you are. Your individuality helps the world be a better place. Mommy, I know. Let me kiss your kiss your out. Mm, better. You push me. You need to sit down. No more grades. Grandma always knew what to say to make Kristen feel better. Kristen ran back outside with a smile on her face and her hand on her hips with her head held high. Let me see you hold your head high. Let me see you hold your head high. Good job. <laughs> Kristen told Sophia, my hair is so big because I am great. Sophia smiled and nodded her head in agreement, and she and Kristen ran off to explore. And then they have a student affirmation in the back, so I'm going to show that to you guys. So you're going to say, I, say I, I. say Kaylee. Kaylee, you say Donovan, you say Kaylee. Go. Kaylee. <laughs> am, am so great. So great. I love, I love myself, myself in every way. In Thank you. I'm in love with my hair. I'm in love with my hair. I'm in love with my eyes. I'm in love. I'm in love with my stare. That should come as no surprise. I know my worth. I know my worth. And so should you. I can change the world. 
by doing just what I was made to do with my head held high and a smile on my face. I believe in me because I'm so great. Okay, you guys, that was Kristen's Big Hair Adventures. Kristen goes to grandma. Yay! So, you guys, the reason why we picked this one up, because as you know, Prideful Kid K have been having a rough time at school. Come here. They were talking about your hair at school? Mm, no, they were talking about my ducky boots. Well, they talked about your ducky boots, but remember when they pointed to your hair and they were laughing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and how did that make you feel? Sad, angry, and and broken heart inside. Oh, broken heart inside? Because they made fun of your hair? And my ducky boots. And your ducky boots? So how do you feel now after reading Kristen's Big Hair Adventures? Um, do you feel really great, a little bit sad. Really great, but still a little bit sad? About my ducky boots. Oh, because about your ducky boots. And my hair. And your hair. But reading Kristen's Big Hair Adventures made you feel really great, though? Why? Me because I learned about a lot of stuff. Yeah. And it helped me learn that when when people don't like stuff that you that you have, you you need you just need to, you can't change yourself. You That's need to right. be yourself. You need to be yourself. You always be yourself. So and that's what we learned. A better place inside your heart so you can be anything. <laughs> anything. Mommy. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that was Kristen's Big Hair Adventures. And so the next time, you guys, we're going to read really? something really, really funny. It's called There is a Monster Under My Bed. Who farts? <laughs> Careful. So that's our next story for story time. So story time is every Monday. Sorry, you guys, that we were a little bit late. They had a dentist appointment that ran really over. So. In the next book after. No, that, we're gonna wait. We're gonna pick a different one. Mommy. But we're gonna read. There is a monster under my bed who farts on next Monday. That's gonna be for story time. So it might be pre-recorded. It might be live. We'll see. But if it's pre-recorded, we'll just post it up here and then it'll be on our YouTube channel as well. But we are so excited to be with you guys for PK Storytime. We are having a blast. Prideful kid, Lil D, is over here looking for a whole nother book to read. But thank you again. Come say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. And yes, you guys, there were, we always have a snack for our story time or at school is called, watch your hand, it's called circle time. So today's snack was grapes. So if you saw them munching, that's because they kept going to the floor to get grapes. But thank you for joining us for PK story time. I will see you guys tomorrow. Watch the table. I will see you guys tomorrow for our educational tip. We are glad that you could have joined us and we will see you again next time. So then... Be happy with how you are and how God made you. Love you guys. Bye.